Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Dimensions. So, I've been eternity farming. I started this last episode, and I have a lot of them. I noticed about halfway through that doing it in one infinity and setting my crunch auto bar to, to this made it faster. But now I'm going to set my crunch auto back to normal and um turn this off and stuff, and then I'm going to go into a normal build. So, here we go. Um, so the right paths, and then like that, and here we go. So, um, we're just going to let this run, um, go. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back and I have made a surprising amount of progress. I have over e 800 thousand antimatter and look how many eternity points i can get it's not even funny and i'm going to buy max time theorems and i already have enough to start eternity challenges i'm going to eternity and i'm going to get this um i can get like so many time theorems it's not even funny and i'm going to max my time dimensions and it's crazy so i have enough to do eternity challenges one and two and I'm one away from being able to do eternity challenge three so I'm going to respect my studies and I'm going to go into a build for eternity challenge one so it's infinity dimensions and it's going to be pretty obvious why when you see what the challenge is and then active that's is just best for this challenge and then I'm gonna um oh yeah I forgot one thing so for these eternity challenges you have to skip out on some studies just because, um, like, because, like, if you, like, skip out on this path and study 162, then, um, you will be, um, good. Like, uh, that, like, you have to have, like, um, like, I actually can get this, so I can afford Eternity Challenge 1, so you're going to have to skip out on some tuddy studies to afford the Eternity Challenges at first, but when you have a complete tree plus 11 time theorems, you're ready to start Eternity Challenges, so here's Eternity Challenge 1, and its time dimensions are disabled, which is why we, we were using the Infinity Dimensions path, and the reward is a multiplier on all time dimensions based on time spent this Eternity, so I'm going to start the challenge and... I'm using the active path, so I have to hold R. I'm going to get some easy infinity points. Um, and I'm going to... So the goal is E1800 infinity points, which is not... It, yeah, like, when, once you can once you can afford to do eternity challenge 1, it's not hard to actually do it. Especially as we have a lot of time theorems, and we can get both of these. And there's this bug, it says I can afford this, but I'm going to play fair and I won't get it. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, um, keep going. We are getting closer to the goal. I'm holding R to get my replicated galaxies and, um, um, yeah. And here's another thing about these attorney challenges. Once we've done it, it will be locked and we will have to buy it again and it'll have a bigger requirement. But we'll be and but when we get it, the goal will be higher and so will the reward. And there are five completions. And a hundred and a hundred ten thousand eternities is enough to get all five of these. You need a hundred thousand for that. Um we're close to the goal. I'm not worried. Um, I still don't know what that is. I'm going to try reloading to see if that solves the problem. Because it always solves this kind of problem. Um, so, yeah, it's solved now. I don't know what would have happened if I tried to buy it, but it probably wouldn't have been good. I'm going to start holding R again. Because I forgot about that. And I can get 31. So we are almost done with the challenge. It's not very hard. Um, Eternity Challenge 2 is a bit harder. Um, 
because like um you're supposed to like have more five more time theorems to do it as more expensive so we're not going to be able to afford both of these and we can't ha do eternity challenge three yet okay so we're I think I'm going to turn off my crunch auto buyer and crunch manually when I reach E1800 because I think that's better. Here we go. I think I'm going to get there. Um, So I'm there, but I'm just going to wait. There we go. And that's the challenge. So n completed one times and I've got the reward now. So I'm going to see if we can do eternity challenge 2 for this one we want to go time dimensions plus idle so just use a normal build and we can we have even less time theorems so we're gonna have to go like that and then we're gonna oh yeah i just i nearly forgot we the requirement is 1300 tick speed upgrades from time dimensions but that's not very hard because we're already up to 1200 and, um, yeah, let's go. Um, here we go. Let's start Eternity Challenge 2. So this one is Infinity Dimensions are disabled. Um, and the reward is, e and the, the goal is E975 e Infinity Points, and the reward is the Infinity Power affects the first Infinity Dimension with reduced effect. Um, so the first four rewards aren't that good, um, but but f um five, six, seven, and eight help a lot more, and so do the rest of them. So um, six and eight are particularly good, and I have that bug again. So I'm just going to export my save just in case, and then I'm gonna see what happens if I try to. Uh. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna import. And yeah, so. Oh wait, I actually can afford this one, but it's useless because infinity dimensions are disabled anyway. I don't have to hold R, I'm using idle. So, um, I'm going to I think I'm going to end the episode here and I'll and at the beginning of next episode I will have done the challenge. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.